The UN Environment Programme and the World Health Organization have agreed on a new wide-ranging collaboration to accelerate action to curb environmental health risks. The collaboration also includes joint management of the Breathe Life advocacy campaign to reduce air pollution for multiple climate, environment and health benefits. In an interview, the WHO chief said despite the agreement being comprehensive, the two chiefs agreed to focus on air pollution. Uh, air pollution is, as what we have agreed uh, with my brother uh, Eric, uh, present and the current danger. And it's, uh, it's affecting the health of uh, the, the, the world, especially in, in, in cities. Our children are not really breathing well. They, they're facing difficult health problems. And that's not something that we should pen for tomorrow. And that's why we agreed to start with air pollution, to really focus uh, on that. Tedros said the agreement includes a clear plan and follow-up mechanisms, adding that there will be accountability in the plan as well. And the relationship will be at all levels, global, regional and country level. But mostly we will make sure that whatever we do makes, brings change at country level, especially in our cities which are really being affected by uh, uh, pollution. We both of us agree that we don't want to see our children really suffering and unable uh, to breathe. This is really a no-brainer. Pollution is the biggest killer of humans in this age and we need to tackle it from the environment point of view and from the health point of view and if we can come together we are much, much stronger. Let's jointly set out the policies which the global cities, every city in the world, need to set out to move into electrical transportation, to move into bicycling, to make green lungs in the city and to clamp down on the pollution so that everyone, every child, every adult, every old person can really breathe nicely in any city in the world. According to environmentalists, health risks cause an estimated 12.6 million deaths a year. And this represents the most significant formal agreement on joint action across the spectrum of environmental and health issues in over 15 years. Terry Wangari, CGTN.